Taylor Swift's Super Bowl winning boyfriend may have walked away with the Lombardi Trophy Sunday, but it was actually Chinese e-commerce platform Timu that scored the ultimate touchdown of the night thanks to its three strategically placed Super Bowl ads that we all had to see throughout the night. And let me tell you, as wonderful and glitzy as those cartoonish commercials were, social media skeptics were throwing major side eye at the newish online shopping platform that welcomes customers to shop like a billionaire when whole time, some people feel like they're just offering you very cheap trash. So I spoke with a local Timu fanatic named Heather Heenan, and she is one that typically buys from Timu little cutesy things, pajamas, things for her cats, hair products, makeup brushes, the things that, you know, most girls need and want for a very cheap price, Timu is the place to buy it. Honestly, people are going to Timu for everything from miniature washing machines and camera drones to $5 earrings and less than a dollar rings, just for fashionable, fun things. I mean, my girl Heather even bought herself a knockoff Jalen Hurts jersey for like 15 bucks. So the things are out there to buy, and people who use Timo love Timu. People in my family literally fight over who's gonna buy what from Timu. So it's a big thing. However, when football fans saw those commercials running during the Super Bowl, they were shocked. I mean, people were running to Twitter saying, like, well, how did Timu afford this? Like, are they using personal information to pay for these Super Bowl ads? Like, I mean, we think they're scammers, and here they are advertising on TV's biggest night. So it definitely caused a stir online, and I did a lot more digging into why so many people were cynical about Timu. Apparently, there have been a number of people who've reported the brand to the BBB, the Better Business Bureau, saying that they're getting a lot of products that are cheaply priced, and when they get them, they're cheaply made. But like they say, you get what you pay for. So people are ordering $5 shirts, thinking that it's going to keep them warm all winter, and then it comes, and it's stained, and it has holes, and it's just a big nightmare. So in addition to poor quality, delivery issues, billing issues, advertisements, because apparently once you are on t Moves radar, you're in it. I mean, they're contacting you. They're inundating you with advertisements and emails and promotional deals, and it becomes a lot for some people. So a lot of people are very skeptical of Timu and its practices, its products, but that is just one leg of this race. The big issue really comes from Congress. There was a group of 11 Republicans who actually issued a petition to Paramount Global and CBS begging them not to air any of those Timu commercials during the Super Bowl because they feel that Timu, because it has roots in China, they may or may not be fully complying with U.S. workforce laws. They feel like brands like Timu, Xi'an, and other vendors out of China are using forced labor. So there's been a lot of controversy. Um, apparently, there's some rumors that the company has siphoned off people's personal information. They're getting into their contacts. You name it. There's every allegation that can be leveled against the brand is being leveled against Timu. And that happens when something goes from nothing to something in like two seconds flat. They've had a meteoric rise to mainstream popularity. And because the bargain basement prices are pulling people in and having people immediately sign up and put their credit card information in, a lot of folks are just worried that this is maybe too good to be true and that there could be another shoe drop eventually that really affects some of the Timu shoppers because there aren't a whole lot of regulations that a, a ton of people are aware of. Now, in response to Congress's letter, Timu did deny some of the allegations to CNBC claiming that they follow the same practices that eBay, Amazon... Etsy, all of these other companies, they're pretty on par with them. That's what they claim. I reached out as a journalist. I did not get an immediate response. However, regardless of what controversies uh, Timu is shrouded in, people love them. There was a recent poll that showed that like over 50% of the population, not only are they Timu patrons, but they're not going to stop. They're going to boost up their Timu patronage this year in 2024 because again the prices are very hard to beat even my girl heather was like listen i'm willing to risk it for the biscuit i'm willing to throw out a couple of bucks on something that i could or could not live without and hopefully you know hope for the best hope that it comes in good condition and that it works the way it's advertised to work but if not i only lost a couple of points so it ain't a big deal